Emily is having trouble breathing. She's suffering from the early stages of pulmonary hypertension, or PH, a rare and incurable lung disorder which most often strikes young women in the prime of their lives. Unfortunately, small children, the elderly, and men are not exempt. In patients with PH, like Emily, the blood pressure in the pulmonary artery rises far above normal levels for no apparent reason. This high blood pressure in the lungs produces progressive breathlessness and causes the heart to work harder than usual. Without early diagnosis and treatment, this disease will ultimately threaten life itself. Let's take a closer look at what pH is and how it's affecting Emily. Pulmonary hypertension is a lung disorder which causes the pulmonary arteries, the blood vessels carrying oxygen-depleted blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs, to become narrowed or constricted. As this happens, the pressure of the blood flowing through Emily's vessels increases, resulting in an increased resistance to blood flowing through the lungs. Since there is less blood circulating through Emily's lungs to pick up oxygen, Emily becomes tired, dizzy, and short of breath. In order to move adequate amounts of blood through the lungs, Emily's heart has to work harder. This, in turn, will, over time, cause her heart to become enlarged and stressed, which could ultimately, without proper treatment, result in heart failure and death. Symptoms of pH for Emily include shortness of breath with minimal exertion, fatigue, chest pain, dizzy spells, and fainting. Other symptoms of the disease are swelling ankles or legs, bluish lips and skin, and chest pain. The more severe the symptoms, the more severe the disease. Because these symptoms are common to many other conditions affecting the heart and lungs, pH is rarely picked up in a routine medical examination. pH remains a diagnosis of exclusion. Much time can pass from the time the symptoms of pH appear and a definite diagnosis is made. Confusion with diseases such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic bronchitis and emphysema, blood clots in the lung, or some forms of congenital heart disease is not uncommon in the early stages. However, there are procedures successfully being used to diagnose pH. In combination, these lead to early diagnosis and extended life expectancy. Tests such as electrocardiogram, echocardiogram, pulmonary function tests, perfusion lung scan, and right heart catheterization represent the most advanced diagnostic tools available today. Pulmonary hypertension is an incurable disease. However, with the use of good diagnostic tools and new treatments that are being developed, we're seeing a greatly improved prognosis. You see, the good news is that researchers believe the cure for pH is possible. Survival is continuing to improve. Some patients able to manage the disorder for 15 to 20 years or longer. That's not good enough. A cure is needed for Emily and thousands of other children and adults with pH. This CD has been created to help those affected by pH and their families deal with this disease. It will also help raise awareness and increase funding for research so that we can find the cure. Mm, thank you.